What if that road that you're taking's a dead end? What if love leaves you all jaded and broken? What if that lives? Hi everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Alvarez and I'm here with Melissa Lawson and uh, she's a former band patient and now we, uh, we uh, performed uh, a sleeve on her yesterday. Um, and uh, I'd like to ask you, Melissa, uh, what do you think uh, with the recovery, having the sleeve done, and then, uh, uh, well, it, we did a, quite a bit of manipulating inside yesterday with a previous band. Uh, well, there actually, I was um, really surprised when I woke up. I've had many surgeries in the past, especially in the abdomen. So when I woke up, I was anticipating I was going to have some trouble breathing, a real, you know, large amount of pain. Um, but that wasn't the case at all. I, you know, felt like someone had kind of just socked me in the gut, and um, the pain meds they were right on. The nurses were in all the time. Dr. Alvarez in all the time, checking on me. I never had to ask for anything in advance. They were always there right before I needed it, um, which was really a relief. And I came here on my own. I didn't bring anyone with me, so it was really great to have that peace that I was being taken care of all the time. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and we always always offer to patients to. Um, uh, we talked to their family members when they come on by themselves and uh, talked to Rick and everything uh, was good back home and mm -hmm. um, and what uh, what made you decide to take that step to actually go toward the sleeve? Well, I have been um, struggling with my weight since I was in late elementary school mm -hmm. and um, of course after I graduated high school, college and then I had five kids in seven years and so all those things kind of together uh -huh. created an almost 300 pound effect. So in 2002, I had the lap band put in. Mm -hmm. At that time, I just wasn't ready to do something that I considered invasive. Or drastic, and the, uh -huh. the only options at that time were the band or the full ruin Y surgery. Exactly. So I didn't want to reroute my intestines, mm -hmm. so I went for the band. But unfortunately for me, even though there's a very small percentage of complication rates, I seem to have gotten all of them. So <laughs> uh, I'm sure I had some contribution, but my surgeon had some contribution as mm -hmm. well. And um, it just wasn't placed properly, it slipped, we lost the port um, hanging down into my pelvis, so they had to go in and repair that. So after a total of four surgeries on the fourth one, I had it removed because I just was done. Mm -hmm. um, the last few years, I had lost almost 100 pounds on my own, but I've never really been able to break about that 220 mark. I got down a little below and it just hopped back up to so like 220, 250. I just kept jumping that over the last few years. And um, just this last few months, started putting on a little bit more weight quickly, and I was getting concerned. I didn't want to get back up to that 300 pounds. So I started investigating what my options were, and I thought that I was going to be going with Ruin Y. I didn't even know the sleeve was out there. Uh -huh. um, did my research and found that um, it was a lot less invasive, a lot less complication rate. Um, the death rate, you know, obviously very low in comparison. Um, I've had personal friends who have had severe complications and have even passed away from the Ruin Y. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of scary to me and my family as well. Um, and I wanted something that also I couldn't trick necessarily. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty strong mentally, so I wanted something that was gonna, I could work with it, but it could work with me too. Mm -hmm. So we could work together on getting the weight loss. And the sleeve seemed to be the answer for me. And as I researched all of the doctors in Mexico, I knew I wanted to come to Mexico for my surgery because it was more affordable. Mm -hmm. And as I researched all the doctors, I found that Dr. Alvarez, that you were more pretty much the most um, uh, respected doctor in this area as well as the most accomplished doctor. And I wanted someone who had had experience in revising from band to sleeve, mm -hmm. even though I haven't had the band for almost six years, but I still knew there will be a scar tissue. Yeah, and we did, we, we did deal with some scar tissue there. Um, and, uh, uh, well, yeah, dealing with a scar tissue and, uh, and uh, we have uh, quite a bit of experience with the sleeve and doing sleeves every single day now. Right. <laughs> uh, and, uh, but uh, your case in particular was, uh, was uh, an interesting one with uh, the band being removed previously and finding those special stitches that I was mentioning to you, uh, but uh, everything came out really nice and good. Um, and uh, regarding us, so why, why, why maybe why Mexico, the big Mexico thing, huh? Because I, I I, I, I've heard all stories, believe me, I've heard everything, you know? They're going to Mexico and this and that. So, oh, I've, uh, I've had, I mean, between my Facebook fans and my friends and family, uh -huh. I've heard, can, I cannot believe you're going to Mexico for surgery course, and you're yeah. going by yourself. So, uh -huh. <laughs> But it's been nothing but fantastic. Uh -huh. You know, Rosie uh, picked me up in the van, which was... Mm -hmm. 
another, you know, peace of mind. If we weren't just being picked up in like a 1979 Chevy or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, and very comfortable ride down mm -hmm. to Eagle Pass. The hotel was wonderful. Uh -huh. um, crossing over was very easy. Um, the hospital's been great. The nurses have been great. I mean, it's just every, all, the whole experience has been wonderful. Um, and, you know, I chose Mexico because of, like I said, the cost for me. I don't have insurance. So mm -hmm. my only option was to go the cash pay route. Mm -hmm. um, and in, in the U.S., that's just not even close to affordable. Yes, it's extremely yeah. expensive. And I have run into friends, too, who have talked about how the process with insurance is so long, six to eight months. They have to go through all this rigmarole to even get the insurance. And then they still Jump. pay a copay. Uh -huh. And so they're like, let's just go to Mexico. You know, yeah. forget it. So, Jump through the hoops, huh? Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was uh, a pleasure having you as a patient, Thank and you. of course, uh, well, you know, you uh, once you uh, have uh, surgery with us, and you've probably seen it on uh, on our Facebook, and you become family, and uh, mm -hmm. so welcome to the family, and uh, uh, I know you'll love your your next your this journey that you're about to begin. Me too. I'm uh, excited.